What's happening, polite society? I hope you had a good week. Jordan Peele's film Us was released earlier this year. Coming up, I'm gonna walk you through parts of the film and I'll try to explain what I believe may be some of the hidden meanings behind portions of the dark iconography. A really quick heads up, there are going to be major plot spoilers up ahead. So if you do wanna watch the movie spoiler free, then I strongly recommend that you do that first before you watch the remainder of this video. Okay, let's delve in. Us is a Luciferian tale in which director Jordan Peele is initiating the audience, namely us, into an occult ritual. A similar director audience initiation ritual also took place in the A24 film Hereditary. The plot of Us centers around female protagonist Adelaide Thomas. At the very beginning of the film, there is a script on the screen that describes how there are thousands of miles of tunnels across America. This intro foreshadows a major theme in the movie about going below or going underground. As above, so below. The story begins in 1986 Santa Cruz. Adelaide, as a little girl, is watching television and a commercial about Hands Across America comes on. Hands Across America was a 1986 event in which millions of people held hands together and donated $10 a piece in order to fight poverty. Peel uses this motif later on in the movie. On the TV stand are two VHS tapes. One of them is the 1983 box office flop, The Right Stuff, which was about the first manned space flight. Could Peel be softly referencing the moon landing here? The other VHS is the 1984 horror film, Chud, which was about homeless mutants who come out of the sewers, clearly foreshadowing the coming events in us. Next, Adelaide is at a carnival with her parents. Her father wins her a Michael Jackson Thriller t-shirt. This is interesting because Jackson's character in the Thriller music video had a dual persona going on that alternated between human and zombie, similar to the leading lady's identity in this film. Adelaide wanders away from her parents and passes by a homeless man who is holding up a sign that says Jeremiah 1111. That text reads, Therefore thus says the Lord, Behold, I am bringing disaster on them, which they will not be able to escape. Though they will cry to me, yet I will not listen to them. The context for this scripture passage has to do with covenant breaking. The people of Jeremiah's time, just like the wilderness generation, had broken God's holy law by going after false gods. Therefore, God says, judgment is now coming, and they will not be able to escape. These people will cry out to their false gods, but their counterfeit deities will not save them from the coming disaster. Peel could be using Jeremiah 11.11 to denote the idea of impending doom. But in the movie, 11.11 appears again on a clock and on a t-shirt one of the characters is wearing. This suggests that the number has more significance than just the Bible verse. According to psychic Yuri Geller, 11.11 could be an energetic doorway or portal between two worlds, which would fit in well with the narrative of this film. As Adelaide walks on the boardwalk, she turns and sees an attraction which has the phrase, find yourself, perhaps an allusion to the ancient Greek aphorism of knowing thyself. Lightning strikes immediately before she enters. The flash of lightning is most likely a reference to Lucifer and his fall from heaven like lightning, which we've seen in a lot of mainstream entertainment content before. After she enters inside, there is a jump scare, which features an owl, the symbol of Minerva, the goddess of wisdom, who perhaps is representing enlightenment in this context. Inside the attraction, Adelaide passes through a hall of mirrors, but eventually meets a girl who looks exactly like her, causing her to become startled and storm out. Her parents find her, but she doesn't talk for a while due to the trauma. The opening credits begin by zooming in on the eye of a white rabbit. We've seen one-eye symbolism relentlessly in popular entertainment, and I've covered it many times before. The white rabbit, who later also appears on a character's t-shirt, is most likely a reference to the white rabbit in Alice in Wonderland. In an interview, Peel described us as a type of dark Easter, and Adelaide as a rising messiah from a death of sorts. Once again, this movie is an initiation tale, just like Alice's introduction to Wonderland. Adelaide, a young girl, like Alice, descends into a strange underworld to become indoctrinated in a bizarre belief. The movie flashes forward to the present day, in which Adelaide is on a car trip with her husband and two children. They arrive at their summer home and meet with their friends, but Adelaide feels unsettled and continues seeing bizarre coincidences from her perspective. At night, Adelaide and her family are attacked in their vacation house by a family of four that looks exactly like them. Adelaide's doppelganger, Red, informs her that she is in fact the same little girl Adelaide met years ago at the carnival. Red explains that she and her compatriots are the shadow people, she uses those exact words, and that she has been planning her revenge for some time now. This dual persona is tied to the Masonic concept of duality. Through cunning and skill, Adelaide and her family eventually escape, 
We learn later that it's not simply Adelaide's family that has underground clones, but the entire populace. In Adelaide's alter Red, the only shadow who has the ability to speak, is their leader. In the final scene, there is a fight to the finish showdown between Adelaide and Red, with the former coming out victorious. As far as the movie goes, I thought it was okay. Some of the dialogue really made no sense to me at all. Like when Red says that the shadow people are Americans, and when Adelaide's husband suggests using Home Alone booby traps to ward off the invaders after his family has nearly been slaughtered. Us was definitely a step down from Peel's previous film, Get Out. Most other reviewers are focused on the different views on the American dream and the classism narratives being pushed in us. Those elements are certainly present, but I do think that the Luciferian threads that are latent in the background are what Peel is attempting to communicate here. If you have your own thoughts, be sure to leave them in the comments section down below. Thanks for watching, guys. If you liked that video, please give it a thumbs up. I upload a new video every Saturday. If you like the content on this channel, be sure to subscribe by clicking on the icon on the bottom right and hit the bell for notifications. Have an awesome week, and until next time, God's blessings.